this is full metal. Even the shells that came with it is full metal as well. And holy cow, there's some weight to it. Hello, what's up guys? I'm your host Gordon and welcome to another What Am I video. What I got over here is a live car 22 WMR. Shell ejecting, not really of a shell ejecting though, more like a shell dropping. Dart blaster. And what impresses me that is that this whole thing is made out of metal. Even the shells. I got plenty of DMs that you guys are asking me to, you know, check this thing out over here. And and there you go. I got you covered today. And of course, this is all thanks to Mac Potato for helping me to get one of these here for today's review. Mac Potato is a local Malaysia online foam dart blaster seller who sells rare imported foam dart blaster and even one of these gimmicky dart blasters. If you guys are interested with one of these, all the necessary information will be provided in the description down below. In the box, we got the blaster itself, a pair of metal shells, a pair of metal targets, plastic darts that we have to remove it from the runner. To put in the darts, you will just have to push it in in the shells just like so. Open up the blaster, hold the lever at the body of the blaster and it will open up the loading door. Load in the shell, close the loading door, prime the blaster and you are ready to go. Okay, okay, first look at the blaster. As you can see, the aesthetic of the blaster is definitely really funky, man. It can become a card-looking thing and it also can become a functioning blaster. And this is a shell dropping because not really shell ejecting though because once you, you know, pop out the uh, shell loading bay over here, it don't really eject unless you, you know, wiggle it out just like so. So let us call this the uh, shell dropping blaster. What impresses me the most is the entire build quality of this blaster. The whole thing is made out of solid metal and even the shells that came with the blaster is made out of metal as well. Take a look at this. The, the aesthetic of the shells definitely very intimidating. You might get mistaken with the real deal, seriously. The blaster even comes with a pair of these uh, target practicing thing over here, which is of course made out of metal. Very surprising though, I thought this should be plastic. Back to the blaster, as you can see, there is a folding mechanism for this blaster over here. It can be folded into a pocketable card looking blaster over here. Of course, you can't really shoot in this mode. If you wanted to deploy the blaster, either way, you can just open it just like so, or you can just flip it open the cool way. Take a look at the sound, man. The sound of metal is really nice. In order to close the blaster, you will have to pull this uh, tiny little lever over here to close it just like so. You don't really have to pull the lever in order to open the blaster. You can just flip it open. Yeah, that sounds really cool though. Unlike other plastic shell ejecting darts blaster, this comes with a metal shell. And of course, one of these uh, very weird looking tiny little plastic darts. It is a proprietary darts, which is sad. The whole thing functions like one of those uh, spring loaded shells where you just, you know, push the shell in there. In order to load in the blaster, there is a lever at both sides of the blaster. Ambidextrous is good. You would just have to pull the lever to open the shell loading bay. The shell loading door don't really pop pops out when you pull the lever. You have to do it manually with your fingers. Drop out the uh, existing empty shell over here. It comes with only two shells, by the way. Drop in the loaded shells, close it. There is this black plastic piece over here where you can prime the blaster, triggers over here, and fire. Not a high performance blaster as expected due to toy safety regulations. Overall, I would say, Blaster is very solid, has been doing this flipping for a couple of times, nothing breaks. Just that you might find it a little difficult to uh, to finagle with the uh, lever over here just in case you want to close the blaster. Let us try a little bit of the uh, closing flip over here. Kind of works. Apparently, in order to close the blaster, you don't really have to close it with your physical hand. You will just have to pull both sides of the physical lever over here just to close the blaster for the cool factor. You can do a little bit something like that. Oh yeah. The grip of the blaster felt just okay. This is a technically a spy, pranky, you know, stealthy blaster. So you can't really complain too much for the grip over here. It's all about the stealth, you know what I'm saying? The trigger is a little small, but it's pretty solid. Nothing too much to complain about that. The priming bar, a little tiny as well, but everything works just fine. I mean, take a look at the sound of the metals. Yeah, that's some ASMR over there. Speaking about Picatinny rails, the blaster don't really come with any kind of Picatinny rails, so you can't really put your favorite attachment. And this blaster don't really have an iron side as well, so you pretty much need to trust your eyeball. Like how I trust my eyeballing technique. At the body of the blaster, there is a storage compartment at the grip over here where you can store your extra darts just in case you need them in your mission or something like that. But in terms of uh, situational use for this blaster over here, I don't think you can use it as a compact 
repetitive blaster. Maybe a little bit of plinking might work. I would say this is more like a, a pranking toy or something like that. Or something like a, a gimmicky show-offy toy. Just in case if you want to impress your friend or something like that. Full metal, foldable, stealthy, and of course tactically cool and yep i guess that's all of the quirks and features of this blast over here so without further ado let us go test the blaster out Okay, okay, we are back guys. So the performance of the blaster is expected. It is kind of all over the place. The blaster can fire us around 36 FPS all the way to 52 FPS. That's a pretty huge gap. Maximum shooting range of this blaster, don't expect that you can shoot pretty far away. Maybe around two to three meters is as far as you can go, but the accuracy is actually pretty good. Overall, operating this blaster, I did not encounter any jams at all. Reloading might be a little bit slow, but but generally, the priming, the shooting, the folding mechanism, the unfolding mechanism, everything works perfectly fine. And of course, most importantly, will this blaster pass the wall test? It kind of looks weird on the wall. I would probably put this on the table or maybe in like a flipping mode like that on the table just for the... Uh, cool factor it looks way cooler when you put it beside your wallet or beside your phone or something like that i would say a very good item to strike a conversation with someone because seriously this thing looks more like a cigarette box or something like a card holder or some sort and of course other than that a very good pranking toy because it is very pocketable and stealthy as well as a very good party trick blaster so yep i guess that's it for today it's a very short video feel free to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm definitely need that i'll be posting videos every saturday and maybe once in a while on wednesday for a little bit of these short videos so do remember to click on the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so yep gordon's checking out and i'm going to see you guys in the next video adios guys Sweet.